Hey everybody, my bad on uh, the last escape room game we played. I had talked to the guys, we decided to pivot to another escape room game that came highly recommended. This is The Room. Um, there are three of these games on Steam, actually. We're gonna play with a half-hour timer. I don't know if it's chapter-based, level-based, etc., etc. So we're just gonna play for a half-hour so you can get the furthest. And then on Saturday, we're gonna play for half an hour again. We'll all get to the same point. That way we can do it. Just, it seems a little bit better, to be honest. It seems a little bit more prudent. And it seems like, you know, Escape First 3 maybe is fine, um, if you're playing in VR. Not in VR, and not having, uh, an actual inventory screen kind of like it dampened the experience a little bit so i had to reboot because i i alt tab to start the game that's my mistake there here we go so 30 minute timer please can i okay we're going i do want to say thank you to malf and dan it was really my uh l on that one tutorial click and drag to move the mouse around done Double click on the envelope to focus on it. Slide the letter out. Click to continue. Click the key to collect it. A small brass key with an animal motif. Rotate the lid to line up the keyhole. Oh baby, it's just that easy. Drag the key onto the keyhole, turn the key, open the lid. Now you got a freaking eyepiece. Feed me and I shall arrive. Give me drink and I shall die. It's a fire. It's a fire. Click the eyepiece to wear it. Okay. It doesn't do anything. Perhaps something's missing. What does the note say? Click on the eyepiece icon to remove. Done. Double click to focus on the note. Feed me and I shall survive. Give me a drink and I shall die. A riddle. The solution must be here somewhere. You'll find the answer somewhere on the safe. Alright. Look for... Fire on the safe. Talisman. Bespoke safes for the gentry. Guaranteed thief and fireproof. I might be able to unscrew this if I had something to grip it with. Okay, boys, we're getting started here. Okay. If I had something to unscrew it with, perhaps we could move some books. Some dusty old books. I don't think they'll help me here. No, no, no. We're not going hint mode yet. We're not going hint mode yet. Go take a look, see what we got over here. Like, what's what's going on here? Slide this, maybe? Oh! Spin? No spin. So something goes in there. We are no longer in the tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. We are now officially off to the races. Okay, okay, see, we're learning a lot. A strangely shaped keyhole. Something, you, you see what I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. What did it say? Oh! A key! A peculiar old key. He's doing it! There's something unusual about this key. I should take a closer look. We're back in the tutorial. Rotate the end of the key. It looks like I can turn the end to make the key into a different shape. Yo, this is definitely what I was looking for. Earth. Doesn't open yet. Okay. So we can make the key be different shapes not necessary because i'm so good inventory object found that could be used as a wrench okay and then could you please place this key yet again into this lock into this lock into this lock <laughs> rotate it again there you go. It's it's a two-pronged key. He's probably the greatest player of all time. Now this opens up. What do you get? The world may never know. These seem to rotate, but there's no markings to show the position. I need to look elsewhere. Okay. Okay. I hear you. I'm hip. I'm with it. What about this one? Doesn't open up. All right. Need something to unscrew this with. A wrench. Lefty Lucy. Lefty Lucy. A lens. It would fit on the freaking eyepiece, dude. Oh my god, what have we done? So we wanted to look at... Uh, this thing right here, was that it? 
I don't know what the heck we've done this time. Um, now there's markings on this. That much is for certain. So if we want it all to match up, I'll admit, not my strong suit. Can we not? We can't spin the middle. Okay, so we just, just, just do it till it looks right. Oh, he's he's done it. It's Book of Shadows. <laughs> Dude, this safe is incredible. I feel like Robert De Niro in the 2000 movie The Score. Wait, let's take a closer look. Chapter complete. Yo, continue game. Continue game. Here we are. Examining this thing right here. These three seals stand between me and the contents of this box. So again, I do want to say just a thank you to... Uh, to Mouth and Dan for, you know... I mean, just straight up, I took the L on that last game. That's my mistake. We're working on it here. Cowl? How about... Wow! Whoa! Nope. Um, don't waste your time doing that stuff. That's me being a fool. It's probably a sequence, maybe, that we gotta interact with here. And the last thing, maybe, will be that key symbol? Oh, you can rotate them. Okay, so it's not a sequence. It's actually, it's just a password. Okay, what do you got up here? A plate with a cog symbol. It doesn't seem to move. A circular indentation. It seems to connect to the mechanism inside. So you know step one. We gotta, we gotta open something up. It's a numeric sequence, maybe. A plate with an eye symbol on it. It doesn't seem to move. Yeah. Um, but when you gaze at it, through this lens. Yo! So, okay, hold on. This thing slides up. We can tell because the eyepiece had a handprint on it. Incredible. An ancient leather bound book. The cover seems very ornate. Like that? Can I open this book? Can I do... Oh, and the second symbol is a uh, little, little spinny. Little spinny boy. Okay. So here's what you do. You come over here. Excuse me. You come over here. Second symbol, spin. There you go. Final symbol, I think, was that. And then you just let it ride. Just kidding. Ha ha ha. Okay. We have fun here. Let's see what else we got going on. Does the spyglass reveal anything else? Like, obviously, something's going on here. Like, would you say this is... Oh, and the third symbol. Sorry, hold on. If you'll excuse me, I've, I've revealed the third symbol. Please zoom in. Is my mistake here? The third symbol is uh, a man doing jumping jacks. The third symbol is a man doing jumping jacks. From this point onwards, that's it. Just spin. Which jumping jack, though? Because that's kind of... No, no, no. Maybe this is not the right one? Is there one that looks a little bit more... Yeah, it's this one, right? Yeah, yeah, it's that one. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, oh, he's done it. Okay. Sometimes brute force is important in an escape room. If you've only got one little uh, piece of the puzzle left, just keep flipping through combinations. A heavy cast iron key. All right. A heavy cast iron key. Does the key do anything does it does it rotate it appears to be a static key um my explanation for this would be that it goes into perhaps this thing right here 
It's locked up tight, brother. Okay, it's not that. Um, does it interact with the eyeball? Does not interact with the eyeball. Okay. Does it go into this thing right here? Does it? Oh, does it go into the cog? Does it go into this thing? Does not seem to go into that thing. I really expected to figure this out a little faster. Feeling like kind of a dummy on this. Oh, maybe it goes into the keyhole, you fool. Am I losing it? I did want to see, by the way, on this on this freaking book, like, surely. Oh, did I already open it? Like, because this is is oriented properly now. Oh, <laughs> he's done it. Oh, you can spin these now too. But I, honestly, like, it looked pretty good to me. Never mind, he's done it. I'm probably the smartest man in the world. Okay, so give me this key, please. A key. It looks like it's for winding up clockwork. My research continues. You know what? That seems like lore. They won't let me click on it. I've got nothing against lore, but let's save lore for a later time. Winding up clockwork. Winding up clockwork. Excuse me, a plate with a... I thought it said an egg symbol. I did want to look up here, like, I think there's something maybe going on up here. Hmm. Hmm. Just clicking, clicking like a madman. You telling me, are you telling me that there are two possible, oh no, that's just the first one. Yeah, okay, so we've. We found it. That doesn't mean we're good, but it means kind of ahead of the curve. Okay, so we were looking at this down here. I mean, obviously, I see a 7 there. I see a 5. I see like an 8, maybe, and a 2. Like 5. <laughs> 7. Yeah, I mean, I have five is the last one. I think it's maybe six, two? Maybe it's five, zero, two, six, seven? It doesn't have to be four, right? Five, zero, two, six, seven? Excuse me, was there... Yeah, yeah, it's here. Oh, never mind. It's, it's just like this. Five, seven... This is a two, I think. And then we'll just work with it. I mean, two, I was going to say, two was the clearest number up there. We've hit a switch. The switch has opened this ornate panel with a doomsday device in it. What on earth is this? My research continues at a snail's pace. This is the note from the book earlier. Between earth and fire, between water and air, I cannot see it, but I can feel its presence, like the shadow of the object without substance yet betraying the shape and form which casts it. It's the final element. Null. It brings meaning to the rest, just as all the numbers of the world are meaningless without their zero. The circle are petty fools, blinded by their dark arts and their greed. Okay. Boomer. Um... What on earth is that? It smells of boining. Can we... Can we spin this, maybe? We can. Oh! So you need to put, like, some fuel in there or something. What about what's going on? That's going to display something. What on earth is this, though? Can we... Interact? Doesn't it it's gonna like play a movie or something? Okay, so let's think about this. We still have this. You think it's possible this is like null? Not very good information security. I'm just gonna tell you that right off the bat. Pretty obvious password if people knew what they were getting themselves into. There is no U. There is no U. Let's look at this again. Between, I think it's in here. It feels to me like it would be in here. 
The circle are petty fools. It brings meaning to the... Do you think it's zero? Without their zero? Don't freak out. We still got 15 minutes left here. Is there a Z? There's no Z. There's no F either. Hmm. Could it be Lel? This one's throwing me now. I'm, I'm considering myself slightly stuck. But I have, I have faith we can figure this out. What about this panel right here? I didn't even think about this thing. I mean, this... Clearly, this opens in some capacity. What about this thing? They've stopped giving me intel, dude. We've hit, the, we've hit that point of the escape room. Okay, give me this note back. My research continues at a snail's pace. With these barbaric instruments, I can barely read, but there's something there. Between earth, fire, water, and air? You think? E-F-W-A? E? There's no F! E wall. You think this is just a, a hidden letter? Like, do you think that we're actually supposed to be spelling out a five letter word, but the final panel is, uh, is, is full or is empty, I should say? Do you think it's circle? Circle? C? I R <laughs> Circle six letters long, dummy. Um, okay, hold on. Maybe something's going on up here. I like to move it, move it. Click on this. A star shaped indentation. While we're here, why not? You know what? I just realized this thing's like a well, it's not really like a clock tower, is it? I thought maybe we'd have an opportunity to... We should have try everything with everything. It's a classic little adventure game situation. I was thinking maybe... Interact with the side of that thing. Okay, now I, I gotta be honest with you. The nerves are starting to flow a little. Really? You can't... Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's gotta be something we can get here. I guess, like, I would be thinking, like, you know what? What about, like, water? Not water. What about earth? It's not fire. Plate with a lock symbol. <laughs> it's worth a try. Hmm. The spyglass? Does the spyglass reveal any hidden secrets? Yo. I do not like hearing that heartbeat, brother. I'll tell you that much. We're at a hard stuck status here. But if Dan can wander around that library at the start of the last escape room we played for half an hour looking for a book, surely... I can at least try to get through this. Yeah! It, it looks like a miniature telescope. AKA a circular indentation. Or, do you think... No, it doesn't seem to go on that. Okay, good stuff. Let's just look around these for a second. Nothing else that comes up, okay? Circular. 
Come on. Come on. Obviously the cog we don't expect to go in there. Anything else? Hold on. Any markings? Oh, 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 oh. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. What would I use a telescope for, dude? It's one where I feel like there's probably an obvious answer. It smells of burning. Oh, you know what? You'd put it here. You'd put it on this thing. Okay. Can't be too upset by that. Why do it 20 times? You know it's not going to work. Oh! I'm, I, I see... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see something on the table leg. What the heck is that? A, sh a short piece of cotton. It smells of paraffin. That's a wax you can use. For one of these bad boys right here. And then se send the machine rolling, dude. Start the show. Start. Uh, we gotta. We gotta find something to put on that. Maybe. Okay. Keep looking around those legs down there. You never know what you might find. Let me look at my timer real quick. I just want to stay abreast of our time. We have nine minutes left. Any progress to be made? Now's the time. Like this one looks a little different. Hmm. Hmm. Does not spin. I'm like so... I'm a hard stuck clockwork. Let, let me look at this one more time. You got anything going on? I didn't try to rotate you. You know what? I wonder if you don't go into part of this machine. What the heck, dude? Yo. Yo, crank it. Are we off to the races? Narrator voice, he's not off to the races? <laughs> okay, we're learning though, you gotta keep... All of these objects have to be kept, uh... They have to be examined in full. This key is bothering me. What happens if you just put it back? <laughs> hmm. Maybe the key is involved? Like it's a wrench? It doesn't really make any sense. Oh! Yo! Is that not enough? I've done everything you've asked, please. Look look through the lens. La ya ya ya. I'm invested. I get the feeling there's more would the eyepiece reveal anything? Trial Woo. Okay, no, 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 don't worry about that for a second. Step one, this is now speedrun territory. We got all the keys to the kingdom. Trial. We need the L still. Okay, so the L will probably come from solving this, I hope. This is the... I hope it's the atom. Was that not right? Is that not right? Uh oh. Huh. 
Like this, this looks very right to me. Can you just open this, please? Use the spyglass. <laughs> please. Spyglass. Whoa, there's freaking skulls behind it. Okay, so I see there's a problem here. Horns go at the top. And this is not right. He's done it. Okay, great stuff. And when in doubt, use the spyglass. And even I know, go, 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 go. We've done it. Use that L right there. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> the first seal has opened. Two more and I'll be in. What the heck is even going on, dude? We got five and a half minutes. Put the key in the slot. Open this. What the? What the? What the? No lore, please. No lore. Okay, we got a, this symbol right here. Notice that symbol. Looks like me trying to make like a paper frog or something. What on earth is that? It's a safe dial, but there's a piece missing. Thank you. I very much appreciate that because I had no idea what was what. You're telling me this key does not go into this lock. Okay. Because it goes into this lock right here, brother. It's the right shape, but the hole isn't tall enough. Something's not right about that. And there's nothing we can do here? Trying to... You know what? Pull this bad boy out. Pull out the piece. It says, uh... Twenty, twenty-one, thirty-one, two. What? What is that? Am I? Am I an idiot? What is this? What does this mean? <laughs> Please get closer. Oh, we went through the machine temporarily. Something like. feels like a drawer you can open, but it doesn't work right. Okay. It's a safe dial, but there's a piece missing. I mean, there's only so many things you can interact with, right? And there's not even, like, the number pad is gone. So I'm struggling to figure out where I would even... Oh, there's other things. Something five? Something... I mean, it could be 21. Couldn't that also be like 15 inverted, though? Like, this is... It seems related to keys. I'm just trying to figure out... We got two and a half minutes left. Let's look at this. Callister returns with the rubbings from Egypt. The pattern continues. Many words. The hexagonal glyph. The same symbol repeats in cultures separated by countless centuries. When my hands hold the sample, the first distilled sample, they will recognize me. McAllister has quit my service. Yeah, okay, but like, what the heck does this mean, dude? All I can really see is you want me to... That's just the key. You want me to put, like, 52? 50, 52 what, dude? 52 what? Can we still work with this thing? Under no circumstances. Under no circumstances. Hey, this is the point at the escape room where you go, I feel like I am an idiot because this should be more solvable. Maybe try bashing this thing a few more times. Like it's a drawer, right? Like something. Just wedge the key in there. Can we get low? 
We can get higher. We can't get lower. We're about to have the timer go off. I'm warning you so you don't uh, don't find yourself alarmed. I, I'm stuck. I'll let you know. Hearts, hearts beating again. It's a safe dial. There's a piece missing. I did, I did see, by the way, that this has like one, two over top of it. I don't know how to interact with that information. I am also like, dude. Something's got to give on these. Oh, even though I knew it was coming, it scared me. Star-shaped indentation. Well, that's going to do it for episode one. I honestly, I, I'm torn. I, I think the game is super good, for the record. I don't think this is going to do it. I don't think like I'm going to get uh, the win on this, but you never know. I don't want a sandbag. I think we did okay, but could have been a little bit more rapid fire. For now, check out Dan and Mouse Perspectives to see how they did. And of course, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. We will see you next time. See ya!